just here off Thomas Street and I'm with Rochelle uh, who we spoke to just at Christmas time and uh, I just wanted to do an update. How have you been? Yeah, good. Still worried about my place. What's been happening with that, love? I've been in court and they're saying that I'm... They're, not, they're saying I'm not going to prison, but I am going to prison for begging. So... Oh, do you really think they'll send you to prison for begging? I went to prison for begging for. And how long did you do in prison? A month. I think it was a less than a day, the less than a month. Let me ask you, Rochelle, when you were uh, locked up the last time in prison for begging, yeah. did they put you in touch with any services? No, I didn't. Was there no mental health evaluation or anything? No, I'm in touch with the hospital. I've been to hospital like, a few times. Okay, and do you mind telling us for what? Mental health issues. Okay. Just I was homeless, so the guards arrested me. I see. And that led to? It led to being put in hospital, so for mental health issues. And now I'm in... T the hospital is what got me a house, so... I see. And why do you think they'll put you in prison? Um, because people go to begging... People who do begging, sorry, go to prison. I thought that was illegal uh, to put people in prison for begging. No, it's not. A lot of people think that. Okay, very interesting. And how have you been keeping since Christmas, Rochelle? Yeah, grand. A lot of people saw your video and um, there's an awful lot of well-wishing there. A lot of people thinking, God, that poor girl. And um, I was telling you just before I met you today, that, um, or ju just as soon as I met you today, that I actually know you from years ago. Yeah, we know each other from the garage bar. That's bizarre because I didn't recognize, when I was interviewing you, I didn't recognize you from those times. And uh, you're completely different, you short blonde hair. Yeah. Um, came across very confident, as attractive young woman. And I can still see that woman in you there. It's just, you're in a different space right now. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. And do you not yearn to get back there uh, to, because there was a, I remember there being a very nice, um, very nice personality, very nice character, that young lady. Well, something and, very weird happened to me. I was taking ice. Right. And then I went to hospital. I went to prison and I went to hospital. And then my eyes changed. Something came up. I smelt, um, kind of like a smell of an old lady, let's say. And then in the hospital. And then my eyes changed. In front of me in the mirror. Right. My eyes went from a different different look completely yeah. like if i took something i would my eyes wouldn't go dilated now no, but the but with the other eyes not to do it sounds very strange what did you think was happening i'm not sure my eyes just changed it was uh, when you take icy there's like <laughs> which is ice for people who don't know it's uh, methamphetamine is yeah. that correct speed speed yeah yeah methamphetamine yeah so I'm not sure. I, I didn't I know. I like I kind of changed then. My eyes right. changed. Shifting point for you. So tell me something. Uh, d uh, where did you get ice? Is that's not in Dublin, is it? Um, off Filipinos. In Ireland. Yeah. I see. So um, yeah, because uh, I'm just aware it's not widely available, but I'm sure you can find everything uh, when you need to. But um, yeah. So you were on the ice for how long? Uh, three years. I see, and that, that's a, that stuff can have a severe effect on the mental health too, Rochelle. Yeah. You know? Um, and then you substituted the crack for that, was it? Yeah, because I can't get it anymore. Okay. And are you managing to eat? Yeah. I'm fine with eating. I eat mainly burgers. Yeah, yeah. It struck me and a lot of people that uh, they they seem to be in some of the feedback that I got about in your video that people were concerned for... That you might that there's no one to mind you, there's no one to look after you. Look like you could do with a little bit of help and support. Yeah, that's nice. I appreciate that. Would that be fair to say though that you could do with a bit of help? Or yeah. What would you need to help you get yourself right, love? Whatever that would entail. Would you go into treatment? Do you think? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Is it uh, the idea? I could just give it up myself. You know what I mean? I don't need it that much. Right, but her, the last time I saw it, it was Christmas. And I have a taste for it, though. It's like food doesn't appeal to me as much as crack does. I understand that. And yeah. I, I kind of get that. But um, I'm just concerned for how, it's, uh, how it would be affecting your mental health like over a period of time, if you know what I mean. Yeah. 
uh, I know there's a, and I know you, and I remember the little bit I remember from you before. There's a lovely, bubbly, good personality, interesting, genuine character in there. Uh, I remember you being a, a very pleasant young woman. We swapped uh, Facebook requests, but I, and I never remember talking to you since then. I just didn't see you around. Didn't recognise that that was you, and it just shows me the difference. Regardless of what happened to you in the hospital that time, yeah. the different space you can go into uh, with drugs and where it can bring it in the mind. Um, so I'm just, as an older man who's been through the whole drug thing, and that, I'm just con concerned because you're pretty young. How old are you, Darren? 27, early 28, September. 27, 28. You're still very young, you know, and your whole yeah. life is there ahead of you. Uh, but if you stay on that crack, are you aware you could be really jeopardising the length of life you could live and Yeah, I don't know. Do you ever yeah. fear for the future? I get worried. Yeah. What would you worry about? Whether I can get enough money for the stuff, whether, whether I lose my place. Yeah. Yeah. But it still kind of revolves around the stuff. Would you take help if it was offered to you, like for a treatment or something? To try and get in, just a bit of support. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to, but I, I'll have to when I go to prison, so. Okay. Are you kind of hanging on till then, till you sort yourself out, because yeah. it's inevitable? Yeah, it's inevitable. Oh, your phone, it's going to get wet. Yeah, I know. I won't hold you too long, but listen, thanks very much. You'll stay in touch, won't you? I, I'll yeah. Leave you and I'm staying in touch, but if your circumstances change, or if you want to talk about it, we'd love to hear how you're getting on down the road. Yeah. From cold turkey and me probably say. And Thanks then, so much. No, and thank you for taking the time to solve this. Look, it's lashing now. We better get out of here. Okay.